talked a ton about dual enrollment throughout my dual enrollment series and I've explained how to apply and how to succeed and how to balance being a high schooler and a college student at the same time, but I haven't shared which classes you should take. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing today. I'm sharing which dual enrollment classes you should take as a dual enrollment student. Let's get into it. This is just gonna be a really quick rundown of classes you should take in each category. So first, let's start with math. Now, everyone needs college algebra. You gotta get that out of the way. So I suggest that you take college algebra if you have the chance to. There was really nothing new. It was just like high school algebra. So if you are just coming out of high school math, then it's something that is very simple compared to other math classes you'll take in college. If you enjoy math and if that's something that comes naturally to you, I highly suggest you just go ahead and take college algebra while in high school as a dual enrollment student. I actually did take college algebra my first semester there and I really did enjoy it. Another thing to take is pre-calculus. Now, calculus is not always required for a major, but pre-calculus is sometimes. So I would check with your major and whatever you want to major in. If you don't have to have pre-calculus, then don't take it. If you do, I suggest taking it in dual enrollment because then you just get all your maths out of the way. Another math you might want to consider taking is statistics. There are a lot of majors that need statistics. There are specific types of statistics like business statistics. I am not really talking about that. I'm just talking about introductory statistics. That is something that's a pretty straightforward class that you can take in dual enrollment and you're not going to be extremely overwhelmed. I actually took pre-calculus and statistics online. It really was not that much of a hassle. I enjoyed it being an online class. So don't hesitate if that's your only option because to me as an online class, it still works. The next category is history. And this is my least favorite category. I am not a huge history fan. I do have to take them to be a college graduate. And I was blessed to have had an AP class. I had AP world history, which counts as a Western civilization in college. But if you don't have an AP credit, then I definitely recommend taking a Western civilized civilization. People call it Western Civ. The first history I took my first semester in dual enrollment was American government and you gotta have that one. The course title might have say something like political science, but it is an American government class. You're gonna have to have that class. You have to have it no matter what major you are. So definitely make sure you can take that in dual enrollment. Last but not least, US history. This is just another history credit that you gotta have. Like I said, I'm not a huge history fan, but it turned out okay, I made it. <laughs> For your Englishes, you're gonna have to have English 1101 and English 1102. You gotta have two semesters of English. That's just basic English. My first English course 1101 was one of the easiest dual enrollment classes I have ever taken because it honestly felt like I was in elementary school sometimes because they were teaching basic grammar like punctuation where to put periods, commas, and apostrophe signs. So do not sweat that class. You will have to write papers, but it is not that big of a deal. I did take both Englishes and I got those out of the way. My first English class was great. My second English class was not the best because the way it was taught was not very great, but I made it. I'm not sure if you consider this a history class or an English class. I put it in English, but it was American literature. I took this class online and I read different stories from history and then had to write about them and give a summary. I did not enjoy this class very much, but I did take this online, like I said, and it is very simple to get done online. So like I said, with the other online classes I took, do not sweat it if online is your only option. It is still a great class to take online. For your sciences, this is going to vary among majors, but everyone has to have a biology credit. So make sure you get your introductory biology out of the way. I am not exactly positive if everyone has to have a chemistry credit. I should know this, but if you are going to go into sciences, you do have to have a chemistry credit. My degree in the future will be in exercise science. And currently as a dual enrollment student, I just had to choose one, so I'm a biology major. And I definitely had to have my biologies and my chemistry, so I have to have a year of both with a lab. So make sure you just get as many sciences in as you can because those are a hefty chunk of your workload if you are a science major, so you can just go ahead and get started with them. 
them. If you want to go into the healthcare field or I even veterinarian school, you possibly might have to have this, I'm not sure. But I have anatomy and physiology and I think this is a great course to take in dual enrollment because it really gets you interested in the medical field and you're able to understand if it is really something that you want to do. Because of COVID, I have had both of my anatomies online and I honestly have just taught myself everything through reading the book and that has definitely been a struggle so I suggest you not take it fully online. I think it would help to have a professor in person but that was not possible for me and I'm still making it through and learning some things along the way. Lastly in the science category everyone's gonna have to have a physical education or a health credit so just go ahead and get that out of the way I am doing mine currently right now I'm in physical fitness for life and that is a very simple class that you can take in dual enrollment and it will count as a credit that you need and now I'm just gonna talk about the miscellaneous classes I would suggest everyone take a psychology because that will fulfill fu what that will fulfill I think it's like a humanities course let me look like a social science or world language and culture that kind of um topic that is what it will fulfill at your college additionally sociology it's like the study of society and people that is another option for you to take if you need more culture classes or more humanity classes and the last one i'm going to talk about is economics economics was actually a high school credit that i had to fulfill so i just fulfilled it through a dual enrollment credit and so then now i have an economics college credit and i think that is just a great option if you want to go ahead and get that out of the way i did take that last summer online and taking economics online was fine i did not enjoy economics i don't really have a business brain so it was not something that I completely understood. I did have to work at that class but it was okay to take online. Now let's have our devotion time. 1 Thessalonians 5 6 states, So then let us not be like others who are asleep but let us be alert and self-controlled. We are supposed to live in the light. We're not supposed to live in darkness and evil and it says let us not be like others who are asleep. The people that are asleep are the ones that live in darkness and sin. We should not be like them. We should be alert. And when I hear be alert, I'm not saying like oh be looking around you at everything you just need to be aware of who is around you and how you can impact others through Christ's love so that is a way that you can be alert and I hope you're encouraged by that today I really hope this video helped you out and helped you know which classes you should take in dual enrollment now these are not all the classes you should take there are some in here you might not need to take so definitely make sure you check your major and make sure you figure out what you really do need to take but these are some general guidelines for you thank y'all so much for watching don't forget you're welcome to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. Have a wonderful day and be a blessing to others today. Bye guys.